When you drive through Ogilvy, Texas on a Friday night during the football season, expect the field to be packed. Football reigns king and history is always present on their minds. Six Sports reporter Matt Lively explains why everyone is breathing a bit easier this week. Welcome to Oglesby, Texas. You no, know, just a little one horse town with no stop, no stop lights, and I think there's one stop sign downtown at the square. Each and every Friday night, these stands are filled with the folks from Oglesby. Many of them former players, some just lifelong fans. Last Friday, there was one goal in particular: finally beat the Calvert Trojans. Not really a rivalry because we know we haven't beat them in 14 tries, so. <laughs> The Tigers had gone 14 straight attempts without beating Calvert High School. The first matchup dates back to 1998, according to six-man historian Lehman Saunders. Chris Villarreal is now an assistant. He graduated in 05 and was on the wrong end of many of those losses. But we we came close a lot of years and they're really exciting games. Had a local uh, guy here call me, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday, and they were like, hey, We've never beat these guys. Born and raised down the street in Gatesville, head coach Jeb Dixon watched his uncle coach at Oglesby in the 80s. In his first year in 2020, Dixon delivered a playoff win, the first since his uncle in 1983. With that weight off the program's back, now it was time to down the Trojans. I mean, nobody around here can say they've ever beat them either. So, I mean, we just went and played like we had nothing to lose. That mentality earned them a win. 48-30 was the final. It took five rushing touchdowns and six fumble recoveries for the 14-game drought to end. I got a ton of text messages and calls and, and just said we finally did it. The Tigers of old are finally grinning. The Tigers of the present, like senior Blake Thompson, are the ones to thank. Me and the seniors, we were ready. We knew we were trying to get everybody ready. Everybody's really mentally prepared for this game. Senior Matthew Castillo sensed a shift in the program. I really didn't want to play him the first two years, but uh, I felt confident uh, this year. That confidence broke a 23-year-old spell. Next on the bucket list for the Tigers, a second-round win. In Oglesby, Matt Lively, Six Sports.